the only expressway that is going to connect northern and southern india that is surat chennai expressway the second longest expressway of india after the delhi mumbai expressway is in under construction 1271 km long four to six lanes access control expressway which will connect surat the second largest city of gujarat with the capital of tamil nadu chennai and it is going to be ready by 2026 Welcome to the channel Roading Fox and in this video we are going to discuss about key features construction status route map cost benefits and many more about Surat Chennai Expressway so let's get started and if you have not subscribed to the channel then please do it now thanks for subscribing guys let's get started So let me give you an overview of this Surat Chennai Expressway. Morth, the Ministry of Road Transport and Highways plan to build a highway from Surat to Chennai in 2021, which will help to improve connectivity, industrial activities, and trade by creating a direct link between Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Tamil Nadu, and Central Maharashtra. As you know, Surat is a hub for textiles in the western part of India, whereas Chennai is a part of IT growth with several industries in the city. The development of Chennai Surat Expressway will boost the growth of the industrial corridor and facilitate socio-economic development, economic growth and trade. This expressway will also help to transport goods directly from the national capital to South India via the Delhi Mumbai Expressway. The project will be built at a cost of rupees 50000 crore the project was approved by the government of india in january 2023 and included it in the bharat mala pariyojana phase 2 the expressway is expected to be completed by december 2026 so initially it was expected to be completed in december 2025 so now it has been increased to december 2026 Now let's discuss about the route map of Surat Chennai Expressway. So as per today the distance between Surat and Chennai is 1600 km and it generally takes around 30 hours to cover this stretch by road. Talking about the existing route from Surat to Chennai you need to take NH48 from Surat and reach Nasik by NH360. and then take aurangabad nasik highway or samriddhi mahamarg to reach sambhaji nagar or aurangabad and then take nh52 and nh65 to reach to hyderabad and then reach chennai via ongol and nellore as you have realized traveling from surat to chennai is a nightmare as there is no direct connectivity and you need to cross four states such as maharashtra karnataka telangana and andhra pradesh to reach to chennai starting from surat with the construction of the new expressway the travel distance between surat and chennai will be reduced to 1270 km from the current distance of 1600 km and the travel time will be reduced by 6 hours the expressway will pass through six major states including gujarat Maharashtra, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana and finally Tamil Nadu. The major cities that the Chennai Surat Expressway will touch base with include Tirupati, Kadappa, Kurnool, Kalaburgi, Solapur, Ahmednagar and Nasik. The project combines two partially access controlled economic corridors that is Surat Solapur economic corridor and solapur chennai economic corridor the chennai surat expressway is a mix of greenfield and wildfield project construction types the surat nasik ahmednagar solapur economic corridor will be fully greenfield six lane and access controlled whereas the solapur karnool and chennai economic corridor will be a mix of greenfield and brownfield sections four to six lane and access controlled Here is the state wise district segregation of Surat Chennai expressway. So in Gujarat the expressway will pass through Surat district, Navsari district, Valsad whereas in Maharashtra it will pass through Nasik 
Ahmednagar, Barsi, Solapur and Akalkot. Similarly, it will pass through Kalaburgi, Yadgir, Raichur in Karnataka state. Now let's discuss about the key feature of this expressway. So as you already know, the total length of the project will be 1271 kilometers which will be built at an estimated cost of rupees 45 to 50 crores. The number of lanes that it will have will be 6 lane and this is designed for the speed of 120 kilometers per hour. The estimated completed date that will be December 2026. It is going to have a mix of greenfield and brownfield project and it will be covering major states of India that is Gujarat, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana and Tamil Nadu. The project model will be hybrid NOT model. So as I discussed, the expressway have been divided into two different sections, Surat Solapur Economic Corridor and Solapur Chennai Economic Corridor. So now let's discuss about this, these two corridors one by one. The Surat Nasik Ahmednagar Solapur Economic Corridor which will be fully greenfield, six lane and access controlled. The alignment of this part lies mostly on the existing National Highway 150C. It will pass through two states, Maharashtra and Gujarat, covering the cities of Nasik, Ahmednagar and Solapur until the Maharashtra-Karnataka border. It will be 513 km in length, out of which the Surat Ahmednagar section will cover 288 km and the Ahmednagar Solapur Akalkot until Maharashtra Karnataka border section will cover 225 km. So, this specific corridor will be built at a cost of rupees 30,000 crore. Now let's discuss about the Solapur Chennai Economic Corridor. The Solapur Karnul Chennai Economic Corridor will be a mix of greenfield and brownfield sections. The alignment of this part also lies mostly on the existing National Highway 150C. It will pass through five states Maharashtra, Karnataka, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, and Tamil Nadu. It will be 707 kilometers in length out of which the greenfield section from Akalkot to Mahbub Nagar will cover 230 km and the remaining 477 km from Mahbub Nagar to Chennai. Now let's discuss about the benefits of this expressway and so far if you found this video informational then please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. So now let's start with the benefits. So this route will cut travel time and distance from 35 hours and 1600 km to 28 hours and 1271 km. It will avoid congested routes through Bangalore, Pune, Mumbai and Hyderabad which will be reducing the travel time as well as the distance. Similarly, it is going to improve the trades. With the construction of the expressway connecting North and South India, there will be a significant increase in the transportation of goods and people, resulting in growth in exports, reducing dependency on imports, as well as industrial activities and accelerating economic development. Similarly, it is also going to boost tourism. Tourism will be promoted in western parts of Andhra Pradesh, central Maharashtra, Karnataka and the western Ghats leading to the development of local economies. Similarly, it is going to generate employment due to increase in industrial activities along the expressways route. This is all about Surat Chennai Expressway where we discussed about key features, construction status, route map, cost, benefits and many more. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section about this expressway. 
and if you like the information presented in this video then do like the video and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching bye take care